Could you please remind us of your name and profession? That's an interesting question. So my name is Kimberly Vanneman. I have worn many hats in my career. For 22 years, I was a behavioral therapist in an elementary school working one-on-one -on -one with inclusion students. I think that actually contributed to my other job, which is as a coach for public speaking. A lot of what I do is about communication. And so they sort of worked hand in hand. My degree is actually from the Rhode Island School of Design, where I was a ceramics major. And I spent the first 22 years of my career as an independent uh, craftsperson. I am the daughter of, of a professional actress. That also meant that I grew up in the theater. I got a strong background in literature and, and theater and, and how people bring things to life with their voice and their bodies. I am also a professional dance instructor, and I also spent about 40 years as a professional tennis instructor. So like I said, lots of hats, but all involve communication. And I'm very passionate about the idea that it will be a strength regardless of whatever you choose to do in life. It will be a strength for you to be able to speak stand up confidently and speak clearly and well and communicate to others. How long have you been working for BVVSS? This was my first year. It was. So the next question was, what was your role during this past summer at BVVSS? Educating a group of students on how our government works to get a bill passed. Also to support the research on our topic last year. Last year, um, the group of students chose to focus on recycling for um, their issue. And so we were able to do a lot of um, fine, in fine research on delving into that topic. And then the other part was to work on fact, how do you make a sex successful presentation? They've crafted a great argument or a great speech or a persuasive essay, but their weakness lies in the presentation of it. And then you'll all see the opposite. You'll see somebody who could sell you a boat in the Sahara Desert, but another part that I worked in in terms of I did discuss how you write something, what type of language you want to do to in, to use in order to influence your audience in the way you would like them to. This question is a bit lengthy, but in terms of your experience with VVSS, could you tell us uh, what activities you did, what your favorite thing was about um, participating in the program, what you hope to do next year? And what's something that you think was probably the most beneficial for the students? So there were lots of fun things. I really liked about the camp, the balance between fun activities and outings with the learning that was going on and that it was still, it still could be a summer camp in the sense that you weren't you know, inside all the time and you got a lot of social time and you got to do a lot of fun things. And the org and the, um, the administration planned a lot of varied events that seemed like kids were really having a fun time, which is great because then when we were working on, uh, the material, they were coming from a place of relaxment, of happy. And those are all very good places to work on your writing and your public speaking. I certainly have to give compliments to the facility. It was lovely. It was comfortable. It suited our needs beautifully. And the food was great. It was very clean and uh, organized well. So uh, I, it just seemed like it was really set up for people to have a good time and learn which is kind of the best. I like to have, I definitely like fun. That's why a lot of my public speaking learning takes place with games because I think people are relaxed and learn better if they're playing. So I thought it would be important to learn how to use a microphone um, because of the space we present in for our I know activity. I thought that a microphone would enhance that and that we should, and there are some things you need to know about working with a microphone. So I did want to add that to the, the curriculum benefited from having a mentor that they fought daily to help them develop useful lifelong skills i already told you how passionate i am about public speaking being a vital life skill i do think my attitude for teaching public speaking is based on the fact that i believe that people learn best when they focus on a single skill at a time and get to really understand it and acquire it and then you layer those skills so that you keep upping the tools that you're using in your presentation. Because that's my attitude, 
I like the fact that we can work consistently over the period of time because that allows us to work our way through a quite a large number of skills. And I did find it beneficial. Also, it meant that I was able to know the students much better, uh, get to know where they needed my support the most. And as the group moved along, I sort of changed the order of what we were covering. And I was able to emphasize certain areas because that is where the group needed more support. And I could go more quickly through other areas because they had it going on much better than like a once a week. Do you have any advice for people um, or funny stories to tell to people who are considering joining the program and or returning to it? The first thing that comes to mind is that if someone is like my one daughter, who is an introvert, and they would be concerned about, you know, being in a a group of this size uh, for the first time, to know that I really did notice that uh, the camp was very inclusive and interactive. It didn't seem like anybody was left out and that there was always someone encouraging somebody else uh, along the way to have fun. <laughs> so that was that was good. I also liked the fact that there was a nice age range so that there was um, good energy coming from all different ages and that older students were inclusive and, and interacting with the younger ones and vice versa. Organizers have managed to strike just the right balance of that. So that so that I would encourage anybody to come, regardless of you know introvert, extrovert, or age. I think you'll have a good time.